Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Saniksha Adnani. I post tutorials here once a week or sometimes twice a week. Don't forget to follow me on my Instagram because it's quite updated over there. And uh, before we move ahead, don't forget to press the subscribe button. Okay, so now today's look, I've used the Nikki palette to create this look. This palette is in collaboration with Beauty Bay. I've been a huge fan of Nikki since forever like since forever and ever and if you don't know who she is she is like one of the biggest youtuber on uh, the planet earth I find her the biggest youtuber she is just amazing I totally admire her and I look up to her and I look up to whatever she's achieved she is an inspiration for sure like she is just fabulous oh and if you didn't know she's launched this palette um yes I am a big big fan of her but my review is gonna be honest as always if I don't like something you won't see it on my channel I don't want any negativity on my channel but if I love something it has to be there on my channel so I ordered this palette online on uh, Beauty Bay it was for 103 dirhams shipping was free as I ordered stuff worth uh, 500 dirhams so they have international shipping free if your order crosses 500 dirhams I got my products within five days I totally think this palette is worth the price because it's just for 100 dirham and uh, the eyeshadow sizes are quite big I don't remember the last time I got a palette for 100 dirhams like someone like Nikki's palette getting it for 100 dirham is a steal and one would think there's so many possibilities of creating looks using this palette uh, from neutral to really funky look and I'm gonna show you guys how I created this funky look and I'm even gonna tell you more about the palette during the tutorial keep watching I've already done my eyes brows using the benefit of great brow in the shade number four I'm gonna clean my brows with the Estee Lauder uh, double wear so basically I'm just cleaning the part right under my brow to give a nice clean edge you can use any concealer to do that blending it out before I add uh, my eyeshadow primer can you see the difference? It makes the brows lift lifted. Next, I'm adding the Anastasia eyeshadow primer. I'm using the same Chelsea Boutique brush to add this primer all the way from the inner corner to the outer corner. My fingernails are really long, so that's why I prefer using a brush. And just to blend it a bit more, I'm using my Beauty Blender. Just a nice thin layer. I'm just extending it towards the end. As I'm gonna add some eyeshadow over there. And now the Nikki tutorial palette um i just wanted to let you guys know that there are two mirrors in this palette <laughs> one is a normal mirror and one is a magnified mirror that is so damn cool because usually like i have like a separate magnifying mirror which i keep it closed because if i want to see if the edges are blended or not but this comes with a magnifying mirror that is just awesome okay so i'm gonna first take the red shade mikai these colors are really very pigmented so just take a little bit at a time blend it out before you take some more so mikai is named after her younger brother who i think passed away when he was really small so i'm just going back and forth I'm just cleaning out the brush a little bit because I want to blend out the edges. Don't put any pressure, just blend out the edges. I totally love the idea of this magnified mirror. So cool, Nikki. Just blending out the edges gently. And I'm just going to leave it like that. And I'm going to layer a few more uh, eyeshadows on top of this. It's so easy to hold this palette because I can just close this part and hold it easily. And then if I want something from here, I can close it and I can hold it here. That is so so awesome okay so our next color i'm gonna take is this color uh, called redemption that's a zoeva brush in number 227 okay these colors are very pigmented i'm just adding this right above the red color to blend out the edges i literally took like very little color because so these colors are super pigmented just took one more layer and i'm just blending out the edges of the previous shade just going back and forth 
now i'm gonna close this side and open this side i'm gonna take the shade 5 am on the same brush and this color i'm adding on my outer corner and on my crease it's the most beautiful brown color i've ever used i've not used a dark brown color similar to this one ever it's a very different shade of brown but just take a little bit blend it into the previous shade and then you can take some more because these colors are so pigmented it's going back and forth i just took a little bit more and I'm just adding it to my crease and my outer corner. I'm going to take the red shade again on the same brush and uh, just gently blending out the edges and making sure the red is back because I'd over blended it. So just gently blending out the edges. Next I'm going to do a cut crease using the Anastasia eyeshadow primer. Before you start doing a cut crease, make sure that your brush is well saturated. I'm using the magnified side of the mirror to do my cut crease. I'm covering like almost three four of my lid when i'm doing the cut crease perfect cut crease i created a nice dome shape next i'm take, gonna take this beautiful green shade ew is it ew or ew um, but it's a pretty shade it's definitely not ew i'm adding this whoa so pigmented usually pastel shades are not as pigmented as this but this is definitely so pigmented what an amazing formula can you just see that i'm gonna add the shade all the way from the inner corner to the outer corner and uh, till where i did the cut crease that's almost uh, more than three fourths of my eyelid just right about here and then i'm gonna add the brown shade again i'm just brightening it a bit more by adding a couple more layers i don't want it to look patchy just adding a bit more here i'm just loving how this look is turning out to be it's blending so well into each other i'm again taking the shade 5 am and i'm just packing it towards the outer corner just love how this green and the brown merges you know my my makeup journey started with like shades like these like green and brown i would love blending greens into brown and the first course that i had done with mac uh, that was using a lot of green pigment and then brown to it the outer corner it just made me fall in love with eyeshadows and makeup and everything to do with makeup so 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 pretty i just love how it's blending into each other i just love how browns and green blend into each other it creates such a fabulous look just darkening it a bit more i'm gonna add the shade even to the inner corner to create like a hollow eye i would uh, recommend using a smaller brush to do that like this pencil brush this is not a very small pencil brush but it's relatively smaller than my blending brush and i'm just making sure they are meeting on the top so so pretty i'm just loving how this look is turning out to be next i'm going to take my favorite shade all in i'm like waiting to try this color since forever this is the huda beauty brush it's like a rubbery brush just be very careful when you take uh, any of these pressed glitters because they are extremely very soft these are like chunky glitter wow so pretty you can use your fingertips to add these colors but again my nails are so long i just can't do that okay it's not happening with the the rubbery side so i'm using the spawn side now yeah it's better with the spawn side because i can add the color and blend it out too i really hope the camera is picking up this beautiful shade i would totally buy this palette just for the shade because all the other colors are beautiful also but this one is something so you can create like a thick dense look with this glitter or just like a washed out also it depends on how thick you want your layer to be i'm just gonna add a little bit more towards the inside just creating a dome shape loving this color so much i really hope the camera is picking up the, the pigment guys before moving ahead i want to tell you all how much i love this glitter i mean i've never seen a glitter and uh, this beautiful 
beautiful like the particles are like so small and i think there are like 10 million different colors of particles in that but of the same family they are just beautiful like i think i'm gonna try the same color with another base on the bottom maybe like a maroon base or a blue base this glitter is gonna transform my look to another level i am so excited with this pressed pigment and it's so easy to use it with this uh, huda beauty brush this is the sponge brush just love love how this color is looking next i'm using the simple eye makeup remover pads they come in this size so convenient we will just clean all the fallout and at the same time just clean all the edges so easy to clean out all the fallout i've already moisturized my face and this is the fenty beauty face primer as with all the primer don't over massage it just spread it all over your face don't forget the nose the forehead just be careful of the eyebrows and then whatever is left i'm adding that to the neck for foundation i'm going with my current favorite foundation the makeup forever reboot foundation this one is in the shade y412 and i'm using the Natasha Denona brush to add this foundation all over my face. This one is in the number 19. This foundation is very easy to apply because it's super creamy. Perfect for dry skin. Even for oily skin. I've got oily skin. It looks very light coverage but the coverage is pretty good. It covers all my redness on the face. Just adding this all over my face and my neck. Next, I'm going to add the Estee Lauder Double Wear Concealer. This one is in the shade 3W Medium. I'm adding this right under eye as the concealer to brighten my under eye. And I'm adding this right under where I would do contouring on my forehead and on the bridge of my nose. Right above my lip, around the lip and on the chin. Then I'm using a Dampen Beauty Sponge, which is also by Fenty Beauty. And I'm going to start blending it. I'm not adding a lot of pressure because I don't want to soak up all the product. I just want it to blend. Then I'm blending right under where I would do my contouring. And I'm blending out the forehead and the bridge of the nose. Next, I'm adding the Huda Beauty Cream Contour. This is the Tantour in the shade Medium. I'm gonna first add this right above my cheekbone, then on my jawline all the way till the double chin, and this side, and I'm just gonna make sure that they meet. And then I'm adding a few strokes on my forehead, just on both the sides, and a little bit on the bridge of my nose on both the sides. Next, I'm gonna start blending in the same order I added the contouring, the cream contouring. Just gently blending it because it's super smooth, so I don't want the color to disappear. Just blending it gently then I'm blending the forehead I'm taking it inside the hairline if you have like a balding hairline then this is a good trick to make it look not balding and I'm using a again a duo fiber brush by MAC this is a small duo fiber brush I'm just blending it downward and on the other side, making sure that there are no harsh lines. Next, I'm adding the Fenty Beauty Pro Filter Powder. This one is in banana bread. I'm first taking a large fluffy brush and adding this all over my face. I'm going in downward direction and on my forehead. Don't forget the neck. Just go in downward direction. Next, I'm taking the same powder but on a smaller brush to add the powder wherever I added concealer. That is under eye, right under where I would do contouring, then around the mouth, around the lips, on the chin, on the bridge of the nose, the forehead. Next, I'm adding the Dior Contouring Powder. I've taken the darker shade on this angle brush and I'm adding it right above the contouring, the cream contouring. The same direction, same placement, just going down direction. And then on my jawline, 
Next, I am going to take the highlighter from the Huda palette. This is the 3D palette. I'm first going to take the cream highlighter and add this right about the contouring. I'm even adding this on the bridge of the nose, about the lips, on the chin. Then I'm going to take the powder shade from the same palette and I'm going to add this right about the contouring. Lately, I've been using this palette again a lot because I love this highlight. I had forgotten how beautiful this highlight is on the bridge of the nose, just above the lid on the chin. Now I'm gonna take the blush from the Sephora Flawless Palette. This is the color I'm gonna use. This palette is in uh, dark, I believe. Smile and add on the apple of your cheeks and blend it inside the contouring. To complete the eye look, I'm gonna first take the shade 5AM. I'm adding this to my lower lash line all the way from from the inner corner to the outer corner. Then I'm taking the shade Mila and I'm blending out the edges of the shade 5am. I really, really want to use this shade, uh, this yellow shade called Ali, I think. So that's, no, Viole. Such a pretty color. I'm going to add this to the inner corner and then on top of that, I'm going to add a glitter shade. Wow, such a pretty color. And on the other side, beautiful neon yellow color. And then on top of that, I'm going to take this color Ivy and just add it to the inner corner. Wow, it's chunky and it's pretty. It is so so damn pretty. Looks so pretty. Can you see the difference? Then I'm gonna fill my waterline with the Urban Decay pencil. This one is in black. Just adding this on my waterline all the way from the outer corner to the inner corner. And on the top waterline too. Next, I'm gonna add the Huda Beauty Legit Lashes. I'm first adding the curl side all the way from the inner corner to the outer corner. On the bottom lashes too, all the way from the inner corner to the outer corner. Next, I'm adding the volume side. Again, all the way from the inner corner to the outer corner. And on the bottom side too, all the way from the inner corner to the outer corner. Next, I'm adding the Huda Beauty uh, Lip Liner. This one is in Muse. I'm gonna lip my lines and fill it in also. Next, I'm adding the She Glam lipstick. This one is in the shade Rendezvous. On top of this, I'm going to add the Huda Beauty lipstick in Anniversary. Love this shade. And that's the final look. I went ahead and added the Huda Beauty Farah lashes. I am so impressed, Nikki, with your palette. Like the textures are beautiful. The colors are so pigmented. There are so many more looks I can create. This palette looks very colorful, but there are some very beautiful neutral colors over here. And these pigmented colors, I've not used all of them today. I just used this one and this one, and they are just beautiful. I can't wait to use this and this shade over here they are also gonna look amazing I think I should close the palette before I ruin it anymore <laughs> and uh, oh another thing that I really like is uh, the mirror oh and this palette is definitely worth the price it was for 100 dirhams I ordered it from uh, Beauty Bay I would definitely recommend buying this palette it is so reasonably priced and I love the fact that it's got a magnifying mirror over here and a regular mirror on this side and the colors and everything about this palette is just fabulous Nikki you go girl you've done an awesome job in creating an awesome palette so I hope you guys liked my tutorial I'm gonna create a few more tutorials tutorials using this palette because I love this palette so much and this was just like a very uh, colorful look and I'm gonna create maybe a more wearable look if that is what I want to say uh, like a more nudish look using the same palette